Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese. As always got another offensive scheme for you guys today. I haven't put out too many videos in the last couple of weeks because I was just trying to spend some time with the family. I know that when Madden season kicks up in full gear, I rarely see them. I barely even know their names. So I took some time off and went to Florida. I told you guys about that a couple weeks back. I'm back now. I'm probably gonna be doing like two, three videos a week. Uh, one or two of them should be gameplays a week, and then I'm probably gonna do like one practice video a week. That's pretty much gonna be uh, the repertoire going forward until next season i'll probably try to sprinkle in some madden 22 content as well but for now i'm going to be adding to my tampa bay buccaneers offense i love the tampa bay buccaneers offense i think i'm going to stick around with it until madden 22 rolls around and i got a brand new offensive scheme for you guys out of the stack wide flex if you guys want to see i'm going to probably focus on like one or two plays in this video i don't know if i'm going to do a full scheme or not or if that'll just be on my patreon and, and my join now community tab if you guys want to see more stuff of this i also got a really good offense Offensive series out of the gun flip trips which is a four wide receiver set four wide receivers in that series so if you guys want to see more offensive series out of this hit the like button and let me know in the comment section but for today i'm really going to focus on uh one plane specifically i know a lot of people are saying that cover three is still very tough there's still a lot of people that are struggling with cover three it seems like madden might have patched that again i'm getting some comments in the comment section that ea might have um you know they might have put a little more work on that i know me personally i spent some time recently trying to find Find some good cover three bombs and the fade out has got to be one of the best ones now as far as this play goes against cover three the number one thing is you have to be on a hash mark you got to be on a hash mark working to the open side of the field that's going to be one of the most important things when it comes to this play all cover three beaters seem like they have to be done from a hash mark anyway you really got to have the open side of the field be wide open like it is right here as far as the adjustments go i'll typically want to block my running back and then i'm all i'm really going to want to do is put the uh the y route here on a streak that's it now you can see the X routes on a augmented 10 yard out route this is the only adjustment you have to make which is one of the reasons that makes this play so uh, amazing is you really don't have to do too much and then you're going to see how this y route here just gets wide open now that first play actually they closed a little bit quicker than i was expecting so it wouldn't surprise me if my timing was a little bit off so let's go and let's go right to the replay real quick to show you guys what happened like i said this here i know a very popular method for beating cover three is out of the bunch concept where essentially um you're just going to want to have a 10 yard out route and a flat route this is kind of similar to that where this this out route really pulls the attention i don't know why this out route pulls the attention of half the field but you can see out routes really have a lot of effects so i think my time and i might have threw that ball a little bit earlier i'm not really sure uh, you'll you'll see wider gaps than this but you can see i mean i definitely have space to the left if i pass lead and bullet to the outside away from the safety i'll go on and run again like i said i expect more spacing than this so let's go and let's do that one more time i block my running back i typically like to slide my protection to the left because i typically want to roll to the left uh but you can see this is pretty much it now you can see right here that's a little bit more separation than i'm expecting this could be a very glitchy play when it comes to how much separation you get against cover three so while this play you can see this play works just like this you can make even more separation by simply putting the b route on a drag doing that will basically create the same type of concept that you get out of the bunch concept where you have your flat beater and your 10 yard out route you can see you have the exact same thing as the b route comes across so this will help to pull that cornerback and then eventually you'll see you'll have even more separation like right here so that's something that you can do so now against cover two zone we can have pretty much the exact same effect all i'm going to do is put the x route on a streak this time instead of the y route it's really that simple i wish i could spread these guys a little bit but it's kind of it's kind of a package deal so my next step is to put either the a route or the b route in a drag it really doesn't matter so i'm going to go with the a route because it'll get across a little bit quicker this is really meant to pull that cornerback down and then you can see where we have a easy bullet and pass the outside it's not a one play touchdown but it's a very big play so this is a play here you can give an easy one play touchdown against cover three but then you can also have a very big series of plays against multiple other defenses you can see i mean just as long as i get that ball out there above that cornerback we have a very easy play this play also has a lot of success against cover four that's regular cover four not cover four quarters um so we'll go ahead and we'll pick uh, i know dollar typically has cover four so yeah there we go regular cover four drop when it comes to cover four, all I want to do is shorten these routes. It doesn't really matter how you do them. I mean, you can put them on smokes. You can put them on drags. Uh, that's really, it's up to you. But the shorter, the better. And then when it comes to making the play, um, all I'm doing is waiting for this B route to cross and just bullet and pass leading as far wide as possible um, to basically get behind the safety. It's really that simple. 
Obviously, you need a lot of throw power. You need a lot of speed, which is why I'm using uh, Tyreek Hill and the gang. <laughs> Tyreek Hill and uh, Patrick Mahomes. But, you know, it's really this simple. This is really all I'm going to do. And then, like I said, I mean, I could throw that ball. I'm actually throwing it. I could throw it up. I could throw it out. There's a couple different ways you could do it. But you can see as long as you got enough speed, as long as you got enough throw power, you're going to get past those safeties. You're going to split those safeties. So we'll go to the replay real quick. Part of the reasons I'm choosing drags is because this safety here, these safeties don't drop and deflate like they do in old gen um they, they kind of do a bit of a better job watching stuff come across the center of the field you can see he's already reacting to the receipt in, in old gen this guy here the safety wouldn't react to him until he crossed the center of the field now he's already reacting to that so that's why i find the drags work best because at least it kind of gets him out of position inside which is one of the reasons that i waited to throw it outside the first time and it really doesn't matter though i mean once you have this type of separation you just got to get the ball over the safety so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there i'm gonna save the rest of this for my patreon and for my join now community tab if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this because believe me i got a lot more plays from this i really like this offense hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below